let's see who knows who knows i'm actually gonna go look and see if <laughs> this is all working it, not gonna lie it's been a little bit of a shit show but you know what that's what we're all about you are good oh Sean Bernoulli says we are good. That's crazy, dude. We are tech geniuses. Oh my god. Alrighty, sweet. Wait, it's, it says. Wait, I don't see it. Are we live? Live on YouTube? Live on the back end. We haven't gone live to the world yet. So we're ready. When we get Tom, we'll go live to YouTube. Okay. Sounds good. Who's in the chat? What's going on, everybody? Who's with me today on this episode seven? I feel like this is gonna be a lucky episode. Seven's a lucky number, so. Um, Tank Smoke's in the chat, epic ep. Yes, indeed. Char, yeah, Char's a G. Char's one of the coolest kids. Um, first kid to ever land a 1080 on a skateboard. And when, when I say kid, he was 12 years old when he landed that. Um, has had the most insane career kind of stopped skating vert and started really focusing on park and has been absolutely destroying park and has made a comeback into vert uh, he will be competing in vert in ventura he's absolutely slayed it at tony hawk's vert alert so that was very radical um yeah and then some other news here i was just browsing the internet and look what popped up X Games California, larger than life promo? How rad is this? Side of the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner trains. If anyone's from Southern California, you know what the Surfliner is all about. That is bizarre to see X Games and action sports on there. Looks like Sky Brown. I think that's Axel Hodges. Um, that is so freaking cool. It's the first time in four years that the fans are coming back. So very, very, very exciting. Oh, look, what do we got? We have a little, a little, um, video on it. Let's see. Here we go. Well, if that's not... <laughs> the most epic branding I've ever seen. Wow. That's freaking go. It's so sick. They should just leave that. Look how beautiful that train is. I'm trying to see who else is on there. Man, that would be pretty cool. Be Sky Brown and be like, look, mom. Come on, ride a train. <laughs> That's right. So cool. Oh, bring me there. That looks so nice. Great drone work, by the way. Sick. Cool. I'm a fan of that. This is the first time I saw that. Sustainable travel program. That's cool. I don't drive. Thank you, TL Stanley, for the write up on Ad Week. Much respect. Um, what else did I want to bring bring you guys up to speed on? Before we chat with Tom Shar, you gotta go back in time and see him eight years ago. I actually think this was eleven years ago, but this video is insane. Look at this young baby Tom Shar. of my life until yesterday. How sick is that? Dude, the best part is his reaction. Listen to him, he goes, ah! Like he doesn't even believe it. Come on, internet. Oh 
insane. Dubai Master video. He was also skating in Dubai with this epic crew. Sergente, Corey Juno, in pace. Let's check that out. There's Tom. How sick is this spot? Oh, you only have one clip. What? This looks so fun to skate. Radical. Radical. Um, oh, there's the escape button. All right. Um, what else we got? Guys, where are you in the chat? What's there? How's everyone doing? Where are you guys tuning in from? You know, part of this whole thing here on the internet is way more fun when we're hanging out and chatting you know so how's everyone doing what you do this week how's what you have for lunch anything hit me what do you got um would love to know would love to know guys would love to know anything at all anything at all Going over to caffeine, caffeine. What's up with the caffeine chat? Caffeine. caffeine. Anybody here? Hello. X Games YouTube. We're streaming everywhere today, guys. This is cool. Oh, wait a second. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I'm from Spain. I was about to go to bed. Marvels. What time is it in Spain right now? 6.20 here, I'm gonna guess it's gotta be late, midnight? It's gotta be late. Um, so yeah, guys, yep, nailed it, 12.30. Well, thanks for hanging out with us in the late night. Lewis, 99999-ish, big up, the England squad. Been watching a lot of Ted Lasso lately, and I'm not gonna lie, it's really giving me the urge to go to England. I love England. It's been a long time. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go back to town. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go back to X Games here. All right, so a lot happened over the weekend. Okay. Alyssa True landed the first ever 720 by a female skateboarder. <laughs> Why is my... You know why I think these are going slow? Because we're streaming to three platforms right now. It's kind of a bummer. Like maybe I should stop it? I don't know. No. Um, what else do we got? What our schemes is up to? Oh yeah. 
Who remembers this one? Iconic. Every time. Listen to everyone. So sick. If it weren't for you people, I would have never made that. Thank you. Thank you. This is the best day of my life. I swear to God. So sick. Respect. What is this giveaway? Two lucky winners will get a double super fan passes for X Games to participate. Like this pose. Okay. All of the US, okay. Tag a friend you would take the X Games. Have you done this? <laughs> Tank smoke. Gives me the tingles. Alright, I gotta I gotta like this post. Okay. I gotta follow them. And I wanna tag a friend that I wanna take. Should I tag you, Tank Smoke? I'm tagging Tank Smoke. I'll tag Tony Hawk too. What if I get picked? <laughs> He's so funny. Okay. I gotta follow them too. What is Fever US? Inspiring people through experiences. Ooh. That's cool. That's fun. Alright, so Arista True, if you don't already follow her. I thought I did. Go follow her for landing the first. 720 on a vert ramp by a female skater. Respectable. She also won. Congrats. We will see you at X Games Ventura. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, wait a second, wait a second. Are we live on YouTube yet? No. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to go live on YouTube. Did anybody watch Bird Alert over the weekend? I was at my little brother's wedding, so I didn't get to see it. But Damn, I think we're gonna have a little bit of an issue watching Shiza because we're streaming so heavy. We just keep going because we if we don't touch it. And I'm glad for her that this is happening. Okay. Just gotta keep my hands here. Let's watch this. Welcome skateboarders from all over the world. We are live from Salt Lake City, Utah. This is Tony Hawk's Bird Alert 2023. The Delta Arena opened their doors, cleared the floor for us to put the most perfect ramp on planet Earth, smack dab in the middle of where the Utah Jazz would normally be playing. But today, it's all about bird skating. We're going to start with our women's finals. And, and if practice is any indication of what we're about to see, you're about to watch the greatest show on vert. And that is a Tony Hawk approved catchphrase. So as our skaters get warmed up, we'll give you all the information you need. I am Chris Cote. This is Paul Zitzer, and that's Lindsay. Mm, come on. You can do it. Don't touch it. Our riders are on deck. It's time to make it official. I'm going to throw it up to the legend himself, Wolfmate Jason Ellis. Hello, everybody. How are we this afternoon? I'm Jason Ellis. Welcome to Tony, Hawk, Tony Hawk's Bird Alert. This is the women's finals. What a cool looking dude. All right. The internet's being bit of a butthead because I'm streaming to three different platforms, but it's all good. Um, okay. Um, all right. Let's 
see what else do we got here because it's just being a little bit slow. That's all right. We saw her. Let's go to Tom Shar's Instagram here. What's going on? Should we go into my messages? <laughs> I want to know who's in my DMs right now. All right. So we we saw in the judging criteria the combination of Tom Shar tricks absolutely destroyed it. We saw Tom Shar now. Come on, Tom. Yeah. Heel flip. Three sixty with Indy to Beggy. Oh, switch back D. This is good. Cap back. Oh, cap is out to Rebert. Told you deep cuts here. What? Switch flip to Beggy. There we go. See right there. That's that so we we saw in the judging criteria the combination of there we go tricks. Oh, here we go. Tom, Tom Shaw now. Come on, stay on Tom. Yeah. Heel flip. Three sixty flip. Oh my goodness, my car two hundred four. Hey bro, thanks for the stream. Can you turn your ducking off down in your OBS or sound effects? It's making the audio sound weird whenever your mic picks up your voice what how do I do that <laughs> I'm t oh, dude I'm down all right I'm gonna go into my filters I've got noise suppression three band equalizer expander compressor and limiter this is all thanks to some YouTube <laughs> tutorials you know I'm new at this which one do I need to turn off noise suppression Maybe if I turn off my air conditioning, maybe that would help. Do you want to see what I'm looking at? Hold on here. Are you even still with me, dude? You can't just shout me out for having <laughs> crappy audio and then leave me. <laughs> I'll check it. Oh, all right, here. I'm bringing my OBS over here. Oh, wow. Look at that, Inception. It might be the compressor or limiter. Dude, don't be sorry, are you kidding me? I love when I get on the fly support. All right, can you see this? No, dude, I love it, this is great. All right, so, all right, you want me to take this noise suppression off? Let's try it. Boom. Learn as we go. How do I sound now? Yeah, we sorry, sorry guys. We just pulled you into the third dimension. Um, all right. Well, I took my noise suppression off. Hopefully that helps. Um, let's see. Where were we? Dude. At least the internet's working. So this is Tom Shar. From over the weekend at Vert Alert. And it looks like Tom Shar has entered the chat. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo. Can you hear me? Tom, can you hear me? I can see you. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can see you. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Sorry. Yo, <laughs> there you are. Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, my I've stopped working again. I thought episode seven was going to be lucky, but you know. Oh, there we go. You got me? Yeah. Dude, what's up? How are you? How's it? Good. How's it going? Good, man. I love your setup, dude. Are you into the whole, like, streaming gaming world as well? Uh, not streaming. Like, I haven't streamed personally, but yeah, I play a lot of video games. What? So, yeah, I got the whole setup. Sick, dude. What games? Uh, recently, a lot of Rocket League. It's a very frustrating game. Nice. I've heard good things. Never played it. I heard it's awesome. Dude, yeah. you you played Apex Legends, right? Uh yeah, I used to. Back in the day. Wow. Yeah. Were you were you at that like 
whatever it was after the ESPYs. Yeah. Yeah. That tournament thing. Dude, that got me so addicted to Apex Legends. It's bad. That was, that was fun. <laughs> that, was that was so fun. fun. Oh my god, dude. So how you been, man? What's what's the latest? Uh, Vert Alert looked like a blast. You absolutely killed it. Yeah, that was really fun. It was. Um, there was so many people out there. It was good. Vert's uh, Vert's not dead yet. <laughs> yet. Yeah, well, we thought it was. We thought it was drifting off, and then lately it seems like it's just had this huge comeback. Yeah. Why do you think? Why, why do you think that is? Is it like just the wonderful skaters like yourself and the personalities? Is it the progression? I think it's just due to a few main guys that are keeping it alive. I mean, mm -hmm. Jimmy is our savior of Vert right now. <laughs> yep, Jimmy. Um, but yeah, I think it's just kind of it, it's just hard because there's not many vert ramps at like skate parks or public vert ramps anymore, so it's not as accessible for. Really? Just like the average kid to go skate vert, yeah. No way. I didn't even realize that. That same thing happened in snowboarding. Like every single mountain would have a super pipe, and now it's far and few. And then even the ones that do, they're like global camps, and you have to either pay or it's reserved and it's private. So interesting. Yeah, I didn't. Same thing with vert now. Crazy. Wild. Um, why did you stop skating vert, or like at least competing in vert? Um, I don't know. I just kind of. I just took a little hiatus, I guess. Mm -hmm. Started skating more park, and uh, I had a lot of fun skating park during that time. I still do. I'm not not retiring from park. <laughs> For sure. But uh, I don't know. Vert's just been really fun again. It's been good going to the session, sessions and skating with everyone. And it's, it's just been really fun. Perfect. Yeah, that's all that matters, right? If it's fun, then you got to keep doing it. Um, who are some of your favorite skaters to, to skate with? Um, we'll start with Vert. Vert, yeah. Vert, yeah. Well, yeah. Sorry to go in. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, of course. Shay is really fun to skate with. Um, Rob Lorfus has been skating Vert again. No um, way. What? Yeah, been skating a lot with him recently. Sick. Where? Uh, at Tony's ramp. That's uh, is that the spot. Session spot. Yeah. Is there still a ramp at the YMCA in Encinitas? No, there's a little wow. mini Vert. Um, Crazy. Rice Wedstein's old ramp. No way. So that's the only one that's there right now. But um, yeah, no, that one's long gone. Crazy. Oh, man. Um, I remember going down there and seeing Sean White skating that ramp and just being yeah. blown away. Me too, and I was a little little kid. Man, we got to rally to bring that back. Now that Vert's I, on the rise, dude. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> that ramp is sick. Um, what other ramps are out there? You got Elliot's, Elliot's Bob's. Here. Uh, there's the ramp down at Claremont, the other YMCA. Yeah. Bob's Concrete Doom for a ramp. Concrete Doom, yep. It's yeah, it's just terrifying. Um, <laughs> Sick, of course. What other ramps there are really? There's not I mean there's like five or six probably in the whole San Diego area. But that's like it. It's crazy. Of, like I don't think there's any in LA really or hmm. much else. I wonder, with all this excitement around Vert, if more ramps are going to start popping up again. I hope so. That'd be great. That would be great. Yeah. Um, so tell me more about Vert Alert, man. How was your experience? How was the the ramp, the vibe? How was it? Uh, it was really fun. I mean, it was good seeing this whole like younger generation, which is like not even me anymore. I feel old when I go to these contests now. That's crazy. And you're and, what, uh, 23? Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Like, there's like a whole new generation of kids that are just insane at Vert. And it's it's really cool to see. But also, we got to skate at Tony's ramp, which he moved mm -hmm. so kindly for us out to Salt Lake. But everyone's used to skating that ramp, so it was a pretty easy transition. Didn't yeah. really get used to anything or figure it out. So it was fun, though. It was a really good contest. Do you know how they move that ramp? Do they have to take the whole thing apart? Or is yeah. it just the whole the thing? Whole, the whole thing apart, sheet by sheet, wow. screw by screw. Wow. And then they just, I don't know. Crazy. I don't know how they transport it, just put on a giant semi. <laughs> Some hor horse trailers just full of <laughs> skate light and metal. <laughs> Something like that. And Crazy. Yeah, put it back together and it's exactly the same. Dude, that's wild. Um, dude, so you mentioned like the, the next generation, the up and comers. Like, how do you, why do you think it is that like 
the little young guns are so good like you being one like i remember being 12 and skateboarding was still like really hard and insane and kind of the same way i view it but it seems like i don't know there's something about being like young and and small that like i don't know it almost makes it look like easier i don't know what's it what's it like seeing you know up and coming kids when you've already been in that situation i guess uh i think being small helps a lot is that it yeah no i mean that's not everything um but you just don't i don't know maybe you don't fall as hard or something yep made out of rubber the kids are just hungry they just they just want want it really badly and uh it's showing because in five years from now those kids are going to be insane so i'm really excited to see that where do you think it goes like is there a limit in like could you go bigger and, and spin more and, and things like that i mean what is the future of a vert hold when these kids are you know 23 and 10 years are they gonna be doing 12s <laughs> in vert and... i don't even know really where it goes <laughs> from there crazy I mean, it's just gonna be I mean, I feel like the, I shouldn't even say this, but the skating level, like tech wise is, I feel like getting close to a peak. So hopefully it just becomes these kids just make it look really, really good. Mm -hmm. Instead of just being able to do every trick possible, they make it look very enjoyable. Yep. Yep. Someone like yourself, someone like uh-huh. Wilkin, like Wilkins. Yeah. My God, that dude is smooth. That yeah, I know. Kickflip melon, where he just like comes in straight down <laughs> perfectly every time. You're like, how? How do you do that? What about on the the women's side? Um, That's Ar- where the, the, like, most progression is happening. It's, it's crazy. Insane. Yeah. Arisa uh, True, seven twenty. It's insane. I was more excited to watch the uh, women's finals than ours this year that's what I, I was reading a lot of the comments they were like by far the best part of the week and i was yeah. like that's yeah. awesome it really was um yeah because compared to like five years ago the skating level is just it's increased so much it's crazy yeah and i also think it's huge that x games is bringing it back and in ventura with you know women's skate vert i feel like yeah, that's just that's, such big motivation and excitement and yeah, that's awesome it's cool. Um, I was talking to Amelia Brodka the other day, and she was like, I went and saw Lindsay Adams Hawkins skating and like doing McTwist when she was like 15 years old, and that was the yeah. reason she started skateboarding. And you're like, nice. Like now that, that that's coming back, you know? So I've got a daughter. I'm for sure going to be like, hey, check this out. Look, this could be you. You just got to learn some 720s, probably nine, <laughs> 900 by next year. You got this. It's easy. They're little. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so how are you feeling about everything coming up for Ventura? First time fans going to be back in action. It's in your home state. Are you excited or what? What's the vibe? You nervous? Freaking yeah. out, man? Uh, no, I'm not freaking <laughs> out. It's, it's just going to be a busy, busy weekend. I got uh, to do Elliot's on Monday for the Mega Park. Wait, what? That's happening now? Yeah, yeah. They, what? They, they, <laughs> no yeah. way. I love that. I love learning that from you. That is the best thing I've ever heard. I heard rumors. I heard everyone was all pissed off that it wasn't happening, and now, yeah, boom. I, they changed their mind, I guess, a couple times, but they. I think they've settled on. Yes. Sick. Okay, so you're doing that. Doing that, and then park and vert also. So S- triple it's gonna be, threat. <laughs> it's going to be a busy one. How are you getting ready for that? Are you just in the gym doing squats every single day for, <laughs> to get the legs ready? I don't even know how to get ready. Um, just, I mean, I skated park earlier. I went to the, the TF yep. out here in the San Diego, and then I'll probably go skate for later, and then probably Elliot's tomorrow <laughs> or something like that. Dude, that's crazy. Is there anyone else doing all three? Because um, who else would do park and... Mitchie doesn't do park, right? Clay? I mean, he could. Clay. I mean, he's going to. Clay. He could, though. Clay would be, yes. Good call. What about Trey? Trey could. Trey could definitely do it. Yep. He's got the bird skills. I've seen it on Insta. Nice, nice. What's it like having X Games back in California? Or not, well, I guess not back in California, but back in Ventura, should I say? I, it's pretty great. I mean, I've, uh, it's been a busy year with traveling, so I'm excited to have something on the home turf. 
not have to go too far. Yep. But, Having uh, I think uh, X Games in California is kind of where where it belongs. It seems like. Dude, for sure. Or maybe Utah. You're saying that the crowd is pretty awesome out there. Yeah, that was actually a really fun one. That'd nice. Be cool. That'd be a cool place for an event. You hear that, fans that are watching? Get your arses to X Games Ventura and cheer Tom and the rest of the crew on because I know from experience it just raises the level so much when you have all that energy and excitement around you. Might even see a 1440. I don't know. You never, you never not, know. Not for me. <laughs> you heard it here first, not from Tom. <laughs> what are you working on? Are you working on any new tricks? Or are you just trying to... I guess uh, there's not that much time. Yeah, there's like a couple weeks now. But, yep. um, no, nothing like new, new. Just trying to be comfy skating all three of the events so nothing feels too too awkward or anything. Which one are you most excited about out of the three? Uh, I think the Mega Park at Elliot's because I didn't do it last year. I had a broken collarbone like a couple weeks before that. That's right. You were wa you were there watching though, right? Yeah, I was there watching. That's right. I think I saw you out in Encinitas one of those nights. I was tuned up. Love skating that thing. So I'm nice. looking forward to that. Nice. That's gonna be exciting. That's one. Of, that's a really fun event to watch. Yeah. That'll be cool. Um, sweet, dude. What else? What else? Oh, how was your trip to Dubai? Pretty crazy. It's my first time out there. It was We're going back in January, I think. Nice. What's going on? Uh, another world skate event. Nice. Okay, so is that why you were out in Dubai? It wasn't like a thrasher trip? No, we just um, we snuck out one of the days after practice and went to that. It's technically a skate park, that like kind of half pipe looking thing yeah and uh everybody came with and we somehow filmed all of that in like just two like a, hours it's like a full part i thought i literally thought it was a whole trip based around that it could have been but Sick. everyone did an insane amount of stuff really quickly so dude it just ended up working i guess how much fun was that i'm trying to find it here on the internet um it was on. really cool it was a lot of fun so that was actually a feature in the skate park that was like the the whole skate park itself was just this. Uh, I think it was made for rollerblading, but were there any? Like a, no, there was no one there besides us. No rollerbladers. No. I can't imagine it's what like the rollerbladers would have done on that thing. Fourteen <laughs> feet tall or something, with a railing going down the side. And what was perfect. it? What was it called? Nasher. Uh yeah, Nasher Dubai. Nasher Dubai. I'm pulling it up. You guys, if you haven't seen this, it is quite epic dude the rails coming up did you try anything on the rail off the side there me no i'm not a, I'm not a guy. <laughs> that's why i asked you never know you see no, no, no. jake uh jake yanko did the, the whole thing from the top though it was no way insane. yeah sick what a crew man sergente was there dude nice man nice 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 um Hold on, I'm trying to get back to us. So what else do you have coming up? You got a trip to Dubai. You got X Games coming up. Um, yeah. Um, X Games is the next thing. And then, uh, what's after that? We were supposed to go to um, this vert ramp that's in a church in St. Louis, but it sadly burnt down last night, actually. No way. What? Yeah, so what? tragic. Yeah, it's this whole DIY thing they had set up out there, and um, there was some like electrical fire last night, so the ramp burned down. The church is still standing, but oh, I thought you meant the church <laughs> went down too. But either way, what? How, I mean, what are the, the the whole insides of it got burnt up and everything? What are the odds of that? Has that ever happened? Like oh, I'm going on a trip, and then you hear that the <laughs> no, <laughs> ramp burned down. Definitely never happened. What is but, it called? Uh, man, what is it called? St. Louis, you said? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's St. Louis. Just church for a ramp. Massive I, fire. I forget what it's called. I feel so bad right now. That's all good. Um, skate Liberius? 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 But thankfully no one got hurt or anything like that. And it was all... Wow. 
wait a second was it the one inside the church yeah yeah holy cow what how long do you know how long that ramp was um posted up there for for a while i've never seen photos of it like a couple of years ago dude that's kind of trippy man doesn't that kind of like freak you out like is that like a act of god <laughs> like no skateboarding I, I, in I the church know, honestly. what the heck <laughs> that's insane that ramp is beautiful too in that church that's a bummer <laughs> Oh, damn. What else do you have going on? Um, after that, I'm heading to Marseille. There's a bull riders contest down there. And then uh, what's after that? Rome is the next qualifier for the Olympics. Um, Dude, is it already qualifying for the Olympics? Yeah, there's been two of them so far. And Wow. How'd that go? Uh, good so far. I got second at the last one. Nice. <laughs> nice. Congrats. Thank you. How does it work? Is there like five events and they take your top two results? Um, I don't know how many they're going to have exactly, but they have uh, probably like six events before in the whole time that it starts to the qualifying season ends or whatever it's called. But they yep. take you get points for your place and they add it all up and then the top three... Well, the top 20 people all together get to go, but only three from your country get to go. So if there's like seven people from the U.S. in the top 20, four of them wouldn't get to go. So it would go further down the list. Complicated and crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that was the same with snowboarding. Yeah, you had to like, you had to get the quota spots and then um, they took four and I got seven and I'll never, state, I'll state never politics. let it down. Yeah, exactly. Um, how was the last Olympics for you? I didn't. I didn't go to that one. Oh, you didn't? I, I missed out. I was one of those people. They took. Oh. They took three, and I was the fourth person. No way, dude. Yeah, yeah I know how it feels. I, I was. Missed, but... I, I was, My little brother missed it by one, and I missed it by three, and we were just like, "Really? Yeah. Oh well." Um, oh shit! I think Burlington's burning down too. Um, well, right on, man. Appreciate the, the chat. We definitely need to link up. Are you still playing Apex? Um, I could re-download it. It's been a little bit. I'm probably rusty, but do you play? What do you play it on? PC or? Yeah, I'm on PC. Can we play together if I'm on PS5? I'm pretty sure they got crossplay. Oh my goodness, dude! We got to do it. And I remember Mitchie. Yeah. Mitchie was also playing Figure that. It out. That would be a blast. You ever played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater? Not the like more recent ones, but growing up, yeah, I had it on my Game Boy. No way, sick! I remember that. That was pretty fun. I just downloaded it as we were doing these streams. They were talking about how they're gonna have it again, or they're gonna have a setup somewhere in Ventura. And so I'm like, I gotta just brush the old rust off. And dude, it is so fun. Like it's like very intuitive. Where I was like, within ten minutes, like, oh yeah, I remember. Boom, 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 boom. Secret tape couple manuals get the special up <laughs> it's yeah, so fun I'm definitely rusty on that one too nice dude how was um how was copenhagen i didn't go out this year actually oh my god yeah i know missing out on what i know dude it sounds like you got a lot going on so i had good. uh my brother got married at the same time that was going on so how was that did you have to give a speech I did have to give a speech. It was terrifying. Yeah, I literally just, my little brother got married over the weekend and I had to do a whole speech. I was best man, do a song. Yeah, me too. It was, I was more stressed out for that than any skate contest I've done. Same, 100%. <laughs> dude, it's just the sentimental part of it. How did it go though? Did you crush it? Yeah, no, it, it went well. I don't know if I crushed it, <laughs> but I think it, I think it was okay. Nice. Were you reading off of something? Did you like write it out or was it off the cuff? Uh, it was like half and half. Yeah. I had it memorized and then tried to improvise some of it. Yep. What time of day was it? Because they didn't do theirs till like way later in the day. So all day I was just like, dude, can we please get this over with? <laughs> Mine was the same. It was at like eight or something. Oh, man. That's so yeah. funny. Nice, dude. You got any plans to get married soon? You got a girl? What's, what's, what's going on there? Uh, no. No, no. Flying solo? Yeah. You hear that, ladies? <laughs> Come on, Aventura. Another reason to get your X Games ticket. Tom's on the market, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, sorry. I had to. 
Oh, no, you're, you're good, you're good. <laughs> oh, man. All righty, dude. Well, anything else? You have any questions for me, dude? It seems like you know way more than I do about what's actually happening. So thank you for the knowledge on... I, know, I don't think I really do, honestly. <laughs> park, parks that are... Uh, Mega's happening, so that's rad. Yeah, I'm excited about that. That should be a really fun one. Awesome. Well, dude, thanks for the chat. Thanks for hopping on the stream. Um, let's stay in touch. Let's definitely try to get some packs going. Maybe yeah. in the in between of you practicing for three insane events. But, um, <laughs> dude, great to see you. Congrats on killing it at Vert Alert and everything else going on. And um, we'll talk soon, my man. Sounds good. All righty. Peace out. Later, man. What a legend. What a legend, dude. Single. Ladies, <laughs> you single. Another reason to come on out, dude. Come on out to X Games Ventura. See all the world's greatest action sports athletes continue to blow everybody's minds. And I will say, if you haven't seen X Games in person, you really should. It is an experience of a lifetime. Like it just doesn't do its justice enough to see it, you know, over the cameras and everything. It's still insane, but like when you get there and you like hear the sounds and you see how big everything is, the perspective for what everyone is doing completely shifts. So if you have the means, I highly recommend hopping on X Games and just dropping in just go go all in go get the gold medal experience all right just do, <laughs> do it right um how's everyone doing california 117 what would represent what's up what's up i hope you got your ticks um yeah that was really cool tom is the man what a humble chill cat i mean he's really been doing this for so long um all righty that might be it for today. Anybody have any questions? Anything you want to watch? Hit me. All right. I'm here for y'alls. Did we go live on YouTube? Does anyone know? Did that happen? Oh, we did. How cool. This has been really fun. I really, I, I really hope that somebody in the chat or watching was here for the first couple of streams and can appreciate how far we've come. Marvals, you're still up. 711 snowboarding vids, please. For sure. What do you want to watch, dude? We can watch some snowboarding vids. Um Marvals, you're still awake. It is 6 minutes to 1 a.m. Much respect for hanging out with us. Hope you don't have to have school too early or or work too 